But today's video, I'm going to be talking about my um experience being on my plane for the first time. Um, I'm just gonna get into nitty bitty detail of you know how I felt coming there. I had to go through TSA. I had got directions to um the correctly I was I was I was sitting down. I waited for over an hour. I was highly nervous. But I got a little less nervous looking at the planes. But then seeing the plane I was getting on, because it was coming back and I see how big it was, that's when I started getting scared again because I felt intimidated with how large that plane size was. I bought gum, um I bought earplugs, you know, from the advice that people was telling me on the YouTube comments when I was watching um Ashley Swift TV's channel. Um, and I went on the plane, I told the flight attendant, and her name was Tamisha, and I was telling her, I know as I was, um, well, after I put my suitcase on top, and then she had me sit in the second row, and then my pocketbook kind of looking thing, I had to shove it under the seat in front of me, she was like, you need anything, let me know, I'm right here, so, she was kind of sitting, um, back towards where you enter inside the plane, because they got their own little chairs there, where they, how many seatbelt like this like comes across their chest? Mm. I was struggling to pull on the seatbelt because I know I have no clue how to pull on that seatbelt. Um, by the time I figure out how to put on the seatbelt, the that's when they did that's when they start the demonstration of how to put the seatbelt on. But I already have figured it out. But I still watch the demonstration though. So as the plane was just like driving around, like turning the corners and stuff like that, um, I was fine. I was like freaking out a bit. And then the plane just suddenly stopped. And I knew when the plane stops, it usually stops for a few minutes and then it goes zoom up to the air. And on YouTube, it doesn't look as bad. And when I see children on the plane, they seem alright with it. So I thought it's going to be alright. I said, because the kids are right, that I should be alright. Because kids are honest, they will show their feelings. So, as if. So at the stop, stop, all of a sudden, I can hear the engines like start to get loud, like, zzz, like really loud. And that's how I knew we was about to take off. I didn't know when. Felt like um somebody was um holding my face back on a chair. And then as the plane was going to the air, I thought it was going to feel like this. And I felt like I was in a rocking ship, like going up. It did. At first, like, we wasn't that far from the ground. I was alright, but as we got higher and I was able to see the ground, I thought I was going to be scared even though I was going to hide. But I was scared. I was so scared. I was sitting, I was turning around like this. I was on my chin. I was like, Ugh, like, making whining noise. I was so scared. And the thing is, um, it made my head feel like, woo, 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 woo. Uh, if anybody who well, has motion sickness, you know what I'm talking about. Like when your head goes up and down, especially when like on an elevator or something, like on a boat. Yeah, because I have motion sickness, but I didn't know the airplane was going to make it worse. Yeah, so I hated that ascending part. I was so scared. Um, I wanted to yell, turn it around. Um, somebody gave me some volume. You know, I was just like, really like scared and I was one point I was so scared I was like kind of like out of it a little bit while I was I was on like squeezing my eyes closed on the chair and I didn't like it at all and then we bump into a couple of turbulence um it did kind of start me a little bit of turbulence but it wasn't as scared as ascending and every time I guess the plane went um glide like this you know so they can get the right momentum so try to go in the area with the least turbulence every time they did that my head would whoop whoop whoop, whoop. and every time it went down it felt like my stomach dropped i hated that and then when it go up it felt like ooh. so yeah i hated that um and i was freaking out so bad i must have went to sleep because when i woke up i had my um donut pillow on the window and i was like this with the um uh, my date bus because monkey like this i was kind of like this when I woke up, I'm like, how I get into this position when I remember being in this position last. But the sun was out, cause mind you, I my flight left at 5:50 a.m. and it was still dark, and I was just reached my destination by 
I felt the air, um, airplane going like this, and I thought the center was going like this, like, like that, but actually it felt like this. Yeah, so the center to me didn't feel as bad as ascending. I mean, that's probably one of my favorite parts about the fly is descending because that's when I feel a little bit less scared. Although my head did go, like, it still made my head go, like it's dropping down. Um, but it felt that scary. But yeah, I was saying, um, you know, please, um, we may see what your seatbelts on at the to the airplane stop taxi or something like that and it was saying welcome to Chicago I'm like whoa that was quick and then I got to Chicago airport called my best friend and I, and I was saying I'll never ride on planes again I'm scared and all like that and she was all calm she's like oh girl she said you'll be fine she said trust me um later on tomorrow when you leave from um to go on your flight she said by then you will get used to it and you will come back and say i love planes i said no i'm not she said yes she was you gonna get used to watch and i'm thinking she was like no i'm not getting used to it i hate it i was like so mad but yeah so she was telling me let her know when i get into indiana so and then as we was going back up in the air i still felt that i didn't like the watch but i wasn't that scared so what i did to learn how to make that Let's feel it. I would press my foot to the wall and lean back on the chair. Or sometimes if the plane is going up, I might go like this, right? Scoop myself down and then put my foot on the wall. Or if the plane's going down, I might go like this and put my foot on the wall. So I'm gonna feel so I feel so I'm gonna feel this as much and that did help. And I'm gonna the um airplugs help. It was no turbulence. And that's when I got snacks on the flight to Indianapolis. I was freaking, why didn't I get snacks going to Chicago? But then I remember they said, if you was um, on a flight to Indiana, come from Chicago, they said, if you was, if you sleep, they gonna just going to pass by you. And that's probably what they did when I was going to Chicago. So, oh. So, yes, I went to um, my convocation with my aunt's society. As I was leaving... I had took the flight from Indianapolis to Kansas City. So when I was taking it back there to Kansas City, I was um a little bit scared, but I wasn't as scared. Even though my head did go like this, but I felt it less because I those things that went like that. You know, like going like this or going like this and pushing my foot against the wall, that's what made it less. Yeah. And I was able to have a first roll, you know, leaving. And then to Kansas City, I just stayed on the plane because it didn't say I switched planes. So then the people who was going to Kansas City, they got off the plane and then more people came on. And then that's where we flew and then we went to, um, we landed. And go back in the sidewalks all the time, I wasn't even scared anymore. And I even, um, took a nap too. But I did get my compliment of the um, you know, snacks. Um, so I knew that we get snacks on the flight, so that's why I was struggling to stay awake for the snacks, and I made it. So I got the snacks. I mean, like a dummy, I left my phone charge at the hotel. They said they would send it back to me, but I had to pay to um for the postage. I was like, okay, cool, I pay for the postage. But when I looked on their website, um, the postage is not with USPS. This was some other company, and it was saying, oh. When we go to your door, you, you, uh, signature required, you have to pay. Or no signature required, and you just want to leave it, then it's free. But then, as I proceed to go on, and then it'll say the delivery method, it'll say one day, 40 something dollars, two days, um, 30 something dollars, three days, um, $29, and then the standard day that they do, $21. And I figured, $21 and some change. Just to deliver back my iPhone charger, I said no. I might as well buy a new one because at the um my local Walmart's or either um electronic store, I can get that for ten dollars. I'm not paying no twenty one dollars. I said that's the case. I'm about to go to the, um Apple store in um Miller Park Mall and go get that for that price. I was like, no, sir. I mean, they can keep it. They throw it away. They can do what they want. Anyways, um, 
And by the time we um took off to come back to Newark, I wasn't scared at all. I was just like enjoying the moment, savoring it. I was like, yeah, I was all cool. I was even talking to flight attendants. I mean, I did talk to flight attendants, um, the other ones too that I was going to St. Louis, but um, yeah, I was cool. I was just scared no more, even going up, even though I felt this a little bit. And that time, actually with that time, when I felt this a little bit, I didn't go like this and like, you know, my normal things I do to make it feel less. I was just, I mean, normally, and I was just relaxing, looking around, smiling. Yeah, so I was, dude, I was good. So, I know I prayed a lot coming to Indiana and said another prayer coming from Indianapolis to St. Louis because I was like, so, um, I know I was so scared going there and then coming back. I was scared, but not as scared. But come coming back from St. Louis to Newark, I was good. And I landed in Newark. I was good. Then my mother came from and picked me up and I went home. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um But yeah, I can answer any other um questions if anybody um wants to feel free and ask. Um like for the details, like you feel like I didn't elaborate on further details. I mean, you ask me, I would um answer it back. Um, you know, because I don't mind. Okay. I'm here. I have fun. And I, and I called my friend and I was like, girl, you wanna go to California? Um, we can hop on the plane. Cause I was like, cause I love planes now. <laughs> she was laughing on the background, but yeah. She didn't say I told you something like that. She was just laughing. She was saying, you know, I'm glad you had a good time. So when we graduate um next year in 2019, she did say she wanted to um go out to um celebrate our achievements. So we're gonna be doing that. Hopefully we catch the plane again. But with her, she's been on a plane bunch of times, so she's good. And for me, hopefully, I'll still have the same positive experience I had this year. But yeah, I'm about to wrap this video. I'll go to bed. I got school in the morning, and I don't want to be going to class tired because either if I come to class early, I'm sleeping on class, or either I go to class late because I woke up too late. But anyways, I'm out.